Good evening all, I am Dr. Gomati Shankari, Obstetrician and Gynecologist from Subhavalli Tamilmadi Hospital, Jayangondam. This month is Preterm Awareness Month. So I am going to give you some awareness about preterm birth. Any baby delivers less than 37 weeks is preterm birth. Between 28 and 32 is very preterm and less than 28 is extreme preterm. The baby may require more days of NICU care in case of very preterm and extreme preterm and the complication for both mother and baby is also very high. So we have to avoid preterm deliveries. What are the risk factors for preterm birth? Any mother with past history of preterm birth, recurrent abortions, short cervix, any instrumental deliveries or any procedures in the cervix. And the current pregnancy with a history of more than one fetus like twins or any bleeding per vagina or any history of fever or respiratory tract infections or urinary tract infections or diarrhea or any vaginal itching, abnormal discharge peeing, or an extremes of age, teenage conception less than 17 years or elderly gravida more than 35 years or undernourished mother. These people are more prone for preterm birth. What are all the warning signs? Warning signs are abdominal discomfort with or without diarrhea, abdominal tightness, any bleeding per vaginum, leaking per vaginum, abnormal draining PV or ruptured membranes or pelvic pressure or low back cake. How we manage is preterm labor. The preterm labor should be managed based on the circumstances what is best for the mother and baby. The main goal is to avoid to delay the time of delivery. The main features are to increase the lung maturity and to keep the uterine in a relaxed state. What are all the Complications for preterm birth Respiratory distress, hypoglycemia, hypothermia, neonatal seizures, vision problems, prematurity of retinopathy and sepsis. So, if you have any signs and symptoms of preterm labor, don't delay it. Rush to the hospital immediately. Thank you.